Hi everyone, I'm Patrick Summers. Yes, that is my real name. And today I wanna to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you and set the truth straight on this whole situation and really what it is. And um, I think that's important. So first and foremost, yes, Patrick Summers is my real name. I reside in Los Angeles, California in the Beverly Hills, West Hollywood area. My background is in public relations. I developed a personal relationship with Lisa Rinna in October of 2020 at the LA Mission. I have donated my time and thousands of dollars as well as she has. They follow me on Instagram and can verify that yes, I have, um, you know, that, that that's how we met and, and, and that's basically how our relationship started. You know, we developed a personal relationship and, um, and then it, we just, really this tale is a tale of two friends who got together that had no idea what they were doing and wanted to stir some drama up. And in the sense of we didn't know what we were doing, you know, working in public relations, my job was to normally, you know, fade into the limelight and what I put out there, let that be what it is. And nobody's ever supposed to connect the dots to me. But when our, you know, what I didn't know is that in our plan, she was actually going to expose my real phone number. It was never supposed to be my real phone number. And um, I think that that's what people need to understand. So yes, I released her real phone number. You know, I thought she was going to blur out my number and just post a text message in hopes that people would then link it to Kathy Hilton because she is alleging that Kathy said some not so nice remarks and that was going to fuel her storyline for next season. It, I wasn't made aware that she was actually going to release my personal number. Um, but it is now, we are no longer friends. Um, it has now gotten really personal because she has sent thousands, you know, it's basically like she left me, we were all, we were both on a yacht together. She threw me off into a life raft and then drove away. But what I want people to know is what was put in front of you was all manufactured in hopes of pushing her storyline for next season. It's not true. Kathy Hilton did not have any involvement. It was strictly me and Lisa Rinna getting together, con con like concocting this plan. It just went south really fast. Pulling her in hopes of notoriety and feeding her notoriety, her fame and her ego. And will and and she wants to like crush me, and she knows that we're no longer friends. You know, I blocked her, um, and it just became really personal. But I want people to know that she is a fraud, she is a liar, and this was our plan from the beginning. But now, you know that people have gone after me personally, and there's a reason she never denied not knowing me is because people can come out and say that she doesn't, that it's not true, that she does know me. Um, and if she tells you that she doesn't know me now, she's lying. Whether you guys choose to believe it or not, I don't care at this point. It's beyond me. Um, but I just want you guys to know that that is, that is the story. Um, and it just, it's disappointing that she would throw away a friendship over fame and to push her storyline and to feed this false narrative. But not only that, to have people come after me in such a personal way, right? You know, when I was adopted, you know, I came from nothing, right? I had to dig out of the trash can and feed my sister at the age of four, and I would go days without eating, right? And um, that's a story that I don't ever talk about because it's personal to me. And so for her to release information in regards like that to the world um, is a low blow, knowing that we were in this together. Um, and I'm not crying for myself, my, or starting to cry for myself. I'm starting to cry because my family is nothing short of exceptional. But having her fans attack my family and the people that they are and the work that they do um, is just completely, you know, uncalled for. And I, you know, now it is personal. And I will stop at nothing to make sure that her, the consequences for her actions are in full force and in effect. Um, and I will, you know, release text messages and email exchanges, whatever I have to do to let you guys know that she is a liar. She is a liar. And really, she just threw me on the bus, who was her friend, in hopes of pushing this um, storyline and narrative. So it's just not true. Hi, everyone.